I know that expression. Uh, can I say uh, that offer was uh, like a glove, like a like a glove for a hand, like a glove for a hand. Um, is I... that an expression? <laughs> <laughs> I have. I think I. <laughs> I like it. I don't know what it means. <laughs> Um, to be honest, this is my first uh, time using Cambly. I haven't using, I haven't used Cambly before, and I'm trying the app because I I really don't know how it works. <laughs> yeah, well, I have only just joined. I've been on Cambly for like four days. Um, four days. So I'm also very new, <laughs> um, but mm -hmm. before I started, I was very nervous because I thought that people would have lots of very difficult questions about grammar um, <laughs> that I would not know the answer to. But actually, um, it's just been really, really chill, you know, just to have nice conversations with people, very relaxed. Uh, mm -hmm. Because you know, the best way, the best way to learn English is just to practice, you know, talking to people rather than like learning all of the, the rules and stuff, you know. Um, okay. I have to say your English sounds very good. Uh, I wish my English were very good, but I think sometimes I struggle a lot, especially with pronunciation. Um, yeah, some people tell me that, but I, I don't know. In my opinion, I think it's a little bit bad sometimes. <laughs> well... There's, you mm -hmm. know, sometimes pronunciation is really just like an accent and, you know, there's nothing wrong with having an accent. A lot of people want to like, you know, get rid of their accent and speak as if they were, you know, an American um, or, 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 or British, but you're not an American, you know, and mm -hmm. good for you. <laughs> yes, uh, and I wanted to say, I wanted to say that uh, the things that I like to do is only conversation. I yeah. don't like to study grammar because Good. it's boring. Me too. <laughs> it's boring. And pronunciation, sometimes uh, when I think that I have some words that are difficult to pronounce, sometimes I will ask you if I am um, pronounce them, pronounce them, them well or not. Yeah. Cool. Well, that's fine by me. That, that's how I prefer to teach anyway. It's the best way. Um, mm -hmm. There is, uh, so is this your first lesson? On Cambly, yes. Uh, I am using italki as well. Yeah. And now I am trying Cambly. Uh, Cambly is, it, it's, it's more expensive than italki. Yeah. So I, mm -hmm. That's a shame because um, I, I've heard that from other students that it's more expensive. Um, and But we as the teachers, I think, get paid get paid less <laughs> so oh, we're, not, we're not getting all of the money i think someone someone up there is uh making some money <laughs> unfortunately unfortunately but mm, uh I for see. me the best thing about uh Cambly, um they're good they're a good company to work for even though the pay isn't so great because of how um relaxed it is because you, you there's no need to do any like lesson planning for example whereas i think with i talky there's a lot more structure um and uh, I heard from some people online who said that uh, it's not so good, not so great a company to work for italki. So mm -hmm. it's very, very flexible here. I can sort of set what hours that I want to. Uh, there's like two systems. You can like either reserve uh, like time ahead to speak to someone specifically. Uh, so I have a schedule that people can book. And then also um, you have these hours where I just sort of sit, you know, online and wait for someone to call up and then you know, speak to random people from all around the world. Um, but it's great. It's been really interesting to meet so many people, you know, from, I was just speaking to someone from Turkey and then I was speaking to someone from China, you know, in Japan. Mm. And that's why I, that's why I became an English teacher because I just, I love to meet people from all around the world. So. Okay. I understand. Yeah. For, for example, in this moment, I don't know. I would like to take um, 15 minutes with you. Yeah, that's. I was about to say um, that uh, I have to go at seven o'clock, which is well, ah. yeah, in like nine nine minutes. Um, okay. Uh, and then and then I hang up, and then you'll still have your minutes left to use to speak to other people. 
um, oh, okay. because it, Thank you. because it can be really great to you know I would recommend that you speak to you know different tutors um, you know find what you like um, you know some some people end up just speaking to one tutor but some people speak to lots but you can do a mixture you know you can you can book uh, sessions that are only like fifteen minutes long um, and I guess the, the the nicest thing for me about like when people rebook is that like you know you can get to know people and otherwise you might find that you'll have lots of very similar conversations where you you know you're only saying you know, like hello i do this i do that um whereas you know it's almost like you kind of become friends if you like you know speak to people multiple times which is good um mm -hmm. by the way what do you do uh, are you a musician by any chance uh no no i wish i were a musician but um the stuff that i have on my back i use them because sometimes i record my lessons on italki and i share them on my social media ah cool sneaky <laughs> <laughs> yes cool. uh, mm -hmm. yes actually it's good that you ask that uh, because i was wondering if i could share this lesson yeah you can yeah totally i would always oh. i would always recommend you know that you ask first because some tutors might say no but for <laughs> me that's totally fine that's totally fine oh, okay. um, amazing do you have yeah. like uh, do you just put them on like your facebook or whatever for, for your friends for your friends to watch? or yeah yes i usually try to edit the video mm -hmm. uh, a little bit to add extra information and I like to correct my my mistakes in the video like writing text yeah um, and that's everything cool I get very respectful do you have friends who like like to watch that do people yes and I like to watch them as well because I think I look silly and clumsy when I speak English and that's very funny <laughs> I like to laugh at you. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. I mean, it's cool to have a you know a sense of humor about this thing and just relax. You know, that's the most important thing because some people take it so seriously. And um, I guess why you want to why, why it's good to speak to different people is because you know you'll see that different tutors have different styles. You know, some want to teach like for exams uh, or do like different lessons every day, but some some people just want to chat and you know. I definitely yeah. the chat. <laughs> so. Yes, yes. I think variety, as you say, is a very good thing to have. Yeah, definitely. Because you will you will speak to people with different accents as well, um, and different mm -hmm. styles of talking, and that can be that can be really useful. Um, yes, uh, you mentioned uh, something uh, some minutes ago about that you were nervous nervous uh, before a class yeah i usually feel the same and actually in this class i would like to practice phrasal verbs sure okay um and okay by the way i have one that fits this uh, conversation pretty well because it is um calm down calm down calm down yes uh, i am very nervous before a class um, and then i say to myself you need to calm down yeah so you, you say need, uh, i would say calm calm yeah yeah more like you know car like like a car car yeah like like, a car yeah you say calm mm. okay okay can you can you repeat please yeah uh, calm down. Calm down. Yeah, cool. Before, okay. before you were saying a bit more like, you know, calm. Calm. Yeah, but, but it's, you know, it's more like a car. Anyway, doesn't, doesn't. Calm yeah. down. Okay. But I think it's, okay. I think that's, that's a good example of a phrasal verb. <laughs> <laughs> yes, in this case, applies uh, very well. Um, and I have another, which is take up. Yeah. So you take up. 
um, you would, uh, you know, take up a pen and write an essay, or mm -hmm. uh, you would take up English classes. Mm, ah, yes, yes, yes. I know that meaning. Um, when you want to start uh, to do something, yeah, to take up. And you could maybe you could take up an offer. So that means if someone take. if someone offers you something, like um, shall we shall we go to the park? Um, you could take them up on that offer. Okay, I understand. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, have you taken have you taken up an activity recently? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, um, I've taken up drinking. <laughs> drinking? Uh, do you mean like alcohol? Yeah, yeah. I'm just joking. I, I, oh. Oh, but, just an example. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I understand. I took up cycling before the pandemic. The pandemic started, and then I stopped um, because it started. Yeah, I I don't know if I say that uh, correctly. What well, What was the word you said? Something started. The pandemic. Oh yeah, because it started. Yeah, because it started. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Um, and then you could say you gave it up. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. I have that in my, in my list as well. Yeah. I have a list and I have that. So I gave, I gave up cycling. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, um, the next one is eat out. Eat out. Eat out. Yeah. You know, <laughs> that's funny. Um, so that's like to go to a restaurant, right? Yes. Um, but uh, our government, uh, during the pandemic, um, they came up with a scheme, right, to try and help uh, restaurants that had no business, yeah? So when they lived mm -hmm. in lockdown, they created something called Eat Out to Help Out. And what it was oh. is they gave people, uh, like, a discount on food in restaurants, right? So that if you went to a restaurant, you'd get, like, £10 off your meal, um, which was a terrible idea because... Then everyone ate out, and then oh, okay. COVID, and then everyone got COVID again. Ah uh, yes, okay, yeah. It was a stupid thing. Okay, but they did it to make uh, to give lots, to give lots of money to their uh, their friends, uh, the businesses that had donated money to the Conservative Party. So it was corruption, really. Okay. So only only the people who donated money, only the restaurants that donated well, money. Well, not really, but you know, it was all restaurants. But some of the biggest chain, um, the biggest businesses, they benefited the most. Okay, okay, I understand. Because mm -hmm. they had lots more space, whereas um, small businesses, maybe they, because you have to have social distancing. Um, they didn't make as much money off it. And also it was not safe because lots of, it was like three days a week that you could, you know, get this special offer. Um, and so it would be so crowded, like on that day, you know, like hundreds of people would come places trying to get cheap food. Um, and it, and, that, and it was dangerous. So yeah, but that's, that's how it was about it. Okay. Bad idea. Definitely. At the beginning, when you said that, um it looked a good idea but now i i understand that it was really bad yeah well we, yes. that's what we all thought um because <laughs> they spent so much money on it like billions of pounds and that money instead of um they could have given it to the people who were really suffering the most you know like the people who couldn't pay their rent you know or like can't even feed their kids because they don't have enough money there's a lot of poverty in the uk you know um and that money would have been much better targeted at the poorest people. Whereas anyone can use this scheme, anyone could use it, right? So even if you are a rich person, you could go to a restaurant and get £10 off your meal and be like, yay, I've got £10 off, you know, but you don't even need it. Mm, okay, yes. I don't remember when was the last time I, I went to eat out, uh, but for, for example, did you um, did you take up that offer? 
<laughs> yes, you got me. Okay. I'm a hypocrite. <laughs> okay. Okay. So when was my excuse? My excuse was that uh, I'm very poor. So you know the cheap food, like you know, it was good. 